Well, hello everybody. How y'all doing? I'm doing all right. It has been a minute since I filmed and there are reasons. I'm sorry for the wind. I'm sorry for the flies. It's Kansas. Um, anyway, so I had last filmed in October or November of last year and um, I had every intention to keep filming, but things just started happening. Um, I had weighed in at uh, the beginning of 2023. Three, I had weighed in at 204.6 and um, you know I had gone on that med that made me lose all my hair but it has grown back when we didn't think it would and so I'm very excited I'm not gonna wood um, and I had gained weight with that uh, 10 pounds in a week and um, then I tried the adding more fruit I gained another five pounds but anyway by the end of the year I was 225 and that was quite devastating for me because I had really tried I'd really tried my diabetes and blood pressure do fantastic on carnivore and ketovore but I don't lose weight so there's that um and so um at the beginning of this year we got the month long sick and um actually it was the end of last year into the beginning of this year we got the month long sick and that was quite horrid because I can't take meds. So I had to just suffer through it and suffer I did. Um, and then as I was getting better, I got um, shingles and my son got sick again and he's had some issues since then. And he's currently having some issues we're having to deal with. Then um, after my shingles, um, I was like, you know what? I've just been feeling like shit. I want to feel better. I don't know if this is hormonal. Um, so I decided to go on high fat carnivore one more time because the last time wasn't less than enough that I'm not to do high cat, or, you know, I just, yeah. So I did and I gave myself gastritis and, um, I was put back on the med, uh, but I only took it for a week, um, to take the edge off. And then I ate nothing but breads, eggs, a little bit of steak, a little bit of chicken and ice cream. And it was vanilla ice cream just one kind of vanilla ice cream. And so I ate that um, until I got better. I went back on carnivore and I was feeling like I was turning the corner and I was gonna be doing okay. I had um, lost the weight that I'd gained while I was doing that. And then I got gastritis out of the blue, like horrible gastritis out of the blue. Still not sure what caused it. I'm not sure what caused it. Um, but it has been horrible. Um, I can only drink about this much water a day. It's 30 ounces. It, even water hurt. Um, I tried the alkaline water and while it was okay on my stomach, it burnt my throat and my esophagus and I can't deal with that. So, um, I, yeah, it was, it was not a fun time and, um, I just have not felt like doing videos. <laughs> And uh, I, I'm not gonna come on here and go, oh yeah, I'm eating bread and ice cream because I feel like shit. Um, so I am now at a place where I am uh, primarily eating meat. Um, in the morning, when I first wake up, I have a little window before my stomach start hurt, hurt, uh, starts to hurt. And so um, I will have a piece of bread, one piece of bread with a piece of cheese. And then the rest of the day is meat um, and eggs and a little bit of cheese. Um, I really don't have that much cheese right now. I don't drink anything other than this. And 30 ounces of fluids a day is not that great, but um, that's where I'm at. That's what I can deal with. So I kind of feel like I've turned a corner and I'm hopeful to get off that morning piece of bread um, relatively soon. Um, so, um, my body, as far as, uh, and I've said this all along, my body, as far as my diabetes and blood pressure, does the best on carnivore and ketovore, uh, especially carnivore. But weight-wise, I mean, I just, I don't, I don't lose weight on carnivore. I just don't. Um, but that's what I'm eating now because that's what I can tolerate. So um, carnivore um, is the best for my stomach. Um, but anyway, so that's where I'm at. And I'm, again, I'm really sorry that I haven't posted, but, um, you know, I don't think anybody wants to hear about it. <laughs> so, uh, you know, so there you go. But anyway, that's where I'm at. I'm hopeful that, uh, again, that I have turned a corner and that I can, um, get back on track. I have no idea what caused 
this bout of gastritis. We put me back on the pill again for the third time. But um, again, my doctor only gave me for a week um, and because uh, we didn't want the same thing to happen again. So I went on for a week and um, it's been a battle, but um, I, I, I don't know what's causing this. I've had this um, a few times a year, two to, well, one to two, sometimes three times a year since I was 30-ish. And so I am not sure why this keeps happening. So um, the next time I go to the doctor, we're going to, we're going to try to come up with a plan to kind of figure out what's happening. But um, I, I did have my gallbladder out when I was 18 and I haven't been the same since. So um, there's that. And then I think it could possibly be autoimmune um, because of my ANA levels. So um, we'll see. But anyway, um, that's where I'm at. I am eating pretty good except for the one piece of toast, but I'm staying under, um, I'm under 30 carbs a day. So with that, so um, I feel all right about that. But anyway, I have missed you guys, but um, I just had a lot of crap to deal with and, and, and did not feel like taking you guys along for the ride. But um, hopefully I'll be back and uh, more regularly and, and do some food videos for you. And um, I'm hopeful that I can find an answer for this and not have to deal with this anymore. So anyway, there's that. Hope y'all are doing all right. Um, and I will catch you later.